Apparently, for two years now, uh, Scotland has been uh, raising the issue that the fishing there is illegal. And the Irish government, especially Michael Creed, has known about this for at least two years, and I suspect Simon Coveney and the senior officials in the Department of Agriculture, Food and Marine. The surprising thing is that they only told the fishermen about it uh, last uh, two Fridays ago. The weird thing also is that those fishermen, they had them at a meeting on the Thursday in Clonic Health Day, called them all back from places like Donegal and where else on the Friday to tell them we've got a problem with Rocco. And they clearly knew about it for two years before that. They could have told them the day before. So it begs the whole question as to how fisheries uh, are being alienated from the citizens of Ireland. But maybe we should look at how our own department looks after our natural resources or fisheries or sovereignty or territory or minerals or water or jurisdiction. It's maybe more important when we look at the area close to Dal Aaron rather than 200 miles from the coast. Um, the situation was best described yesterday in a news article in the Irish Times by Charles Lysett. Uh, uh, Mr Lysett was previously a legal advisor in foreign affairs and he says that our claims to Rocco are a nonsense. A nonsense basically for two reasons. A nonsense in so far as that uh, we alienated them from our people uh, a few years ago, but probably most likely in a treaty that was signed, uh, Treaty Number no. 1 of 2014, signed by Eamon uh, Gilmore. Uh, it seems that we have known for a long time that uh, Ireland did not have a claim on Rocco, recognised the UK's claim on Rocco. It's also quite clear from Mr. Lysis' article that um, when we had a chance to uh, stop an uninhabitable island being used for claiming a territorial sea that we withdrew from that argument. So I have serious questions to ask. Who is looking after the interests of the Irish citizen when it comes to territory, sovereignty, fisheries, natural resources? Because obviously whoever doing, is doing it is doing a seriously bad job. So if we don't own Rockall, does that mean after Brexit, Irish boats will no longer be allowed to fish in those territories? It actually means the legal position today, whether we like it or not, is that the boats are fishing illegally, according to Mr. Lysett, and according to the advice that I would have by being inside the 12 mile zone. That's quite clear. Whether they're arrested or not, hopefully they won't be, and hopefully they'll be able to continue to fish. However, after Brexit, that's an area that will be outside the jurisdiction uh, of Europe, specifically Ireland, and we would have no claim to fish there unless there is a negotiated deal post-Brexit.